Boga, 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 boga. Hello, boogies. I know what you're thinking. Yep. He went shopping and got a new shirt. Wrong. This is an old shirt that I no longer wear because it doesn't really match my skin tone very well, so I don't wear it anymore. However, I'm punishing myself for not going shopping by wearing clothes that I hate. And then I thought, how do I make this worse? So then I put this necklace on top. <laughs> this looks so bad. <laughs> I am planning on going shopping next week, which is something I've said for the past six to eight months. But maybe next week is actually the week. The r slash am I the asshole Reddit is just filled with so much good content. What people do is they come here, they, they tell their story, and then they ask, am I the asshole or is someone else the asshole? Now, a lot of times people are self-aware enough to not paint themselves in a horrible light. So a lot of times people are like, you're not the asshole. And those aren't that fun. The fun ones are when you find the posts where they just don't realize that they are actually the asshole and then they get scolded in the, the replies. Am I the asshole for telling our parents my brother is getting married? My brother got kicked out when he was 14, a freshman in high school. He was going around telling people he was kicked out because he was gay, but that's not true. Ooh, family dynamics, okay. We knew he was gay, our dad was a pastor, so... <laughs> wait, 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 our dad was a pastor? I guess religion, which is like, oh, love everyone, but not gay people. <laughs> I love hypocrisy and religion, it's so fun. <laughs> so he told my brother to keep it a secret, at least until he graduates. My brother just had to tell his friends though. Ugh, what a gossiper. Just wanted to talk about who he is. I tried to help him and be there for him, but there was only so much I could do. My parents financially supported me, so I couldn't go against their wishes. My brother, now 24, reached out to me. We've been communicating every few months, but he told me he was getting married. I went to dinner at their house. I thought it would be just the three of us, but it was dinner with his friends and his friend's parents. The friend's parents are the ones he stayed with when he was kicked out, and they seem to think that makes them his family. Oh, <laughs> Wait, are you- is that judgment? Are you being judgmental of them? They think that he's a part of their family? What did they ever do for my brother, except be there for him in moments of crisis after we kicked him out of our house? <laughs> and left him to live on the streets at 14! I asked my brother if our parents knew about his engagement. He told me they didn't. He doesn't want a relationship with them, and he doesn't want them at the wedding. I told him he was being childish. Love that. You got that, that Christian judgment, don't you? <laughs> he needs to get over it and forgive them. The only reason they never let him come home was because he was shit-talking them around town. He has a chance to show them he's the bigger person now and to apologize. You're basically siding with your parents on this. I went home after he wouldn't listen and I told our parents everything. I gave them his number. Apparently they called and tried to talk to him. He hung up and blocked them, then called me to scream at me for giving them his info. He told me I was an asshole and uninvited him to his wedding. <laughs> Am I the asshole or was he just overreacting? <laughs> I love these. See, these are the good ones. When you're actually the asshole and you tell the story thinking that everyone's going to be on your side, but they're not. You literally did the one thing you were reprimanding your brother for. It's like, keep your mouth shut. Just keep your mouth shut and everything's going to be okay. That's all you had to do. And then you blabbed. You did the same thing your brother got kicked out for, but then you sided with your parents. Comments, 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 comments. You're the asshole. I hope this is fake. How awful. You minimize the pain your parents caused your brother. Yeah, especially like telling him you need to be the bigger person. You need to be the one to apologize. Gah, you go kick out a 14 year old? Come on. He was too young to drive. Yeah, he literally didn't even have a driver's license. Am I the asshole for taking a brand deal? I am a YouTuber and it is my main source of income. I was recently approached by a company called Switchcraft to promote their game. It is a choose your own adventure story with TV quality writing and storylines. Sounds fun. The story centers around a female witch whose best friend goes missing and she's on a mission to find her while trying to figure out who is her friend and who is her enemy. There are thousands of levels that are both fun and addictive. Anyway, I should stop dragging this out. This video is sponsored by Switchcraft. This video, this video is sponsored by... Oh, this video. I'm the YouTuber. I'm being sponsored by Switchcraft. <laughs> Switchcraft is free to play. The story is genuinely interesting and I've already passed level 1000 because I can't stop playing. I'm not joking. I'm literally past level 1000. What I think the game does well is it ramps up difficulty really well. At first it's easy, but as you become more comfortable and begin to learn the best moves and the best matches, the game starts adding more difficult levels to challenge you. They also have a hint function so that if you're ever stuck, the game will give you a little bit of guidance. Again, it's fun, free to play, it looks good, it plays well, it has a good story. You can't ask for much more than that in a mobile game. It kind of just has like every element that you could want into a single game. I will leave a link in the description if you want to give it a play for yourself. Give it a try. And no, you're not the asshole for doing that. <laughs> Again, thank you to Switchcraft for sponsoring this video. I need to doubly make sure that's clear that Switchcraft is sponsoring because I was so subtle and smooth with it that people are like, I, I don't know, who is he the YouTuber? Or was that actual post? No, it wasn't an actual post. This one, no one is talking about it. It's got one upvote, was posted a day ago. Am I the asshole for beating my girlfriend in a game of NBA 2K? Yesterday I had my girlfriend over. She showed up while I was finishing a game of NBA 2K. 
which is a video game. To my surprise, she was interested in the game and wanted to try playing. She is not much of a gamer at all, but does know the basic rules of basketball and sometimes watches games with me. I asked her if she wanted to, uh, me to teach her how to play, but instead she wanted to hop in a game against me right away. I told her at least three times that she would not have much of a chance as I have been playing this game for years, but she insisted. <laughs> oh, I've been there. I, I'll tell my story in a second. I decided to play as like a average team. She played as a really good team. I tried my best to give her easy chances to score at the beginning of the game, but my competitive <laughs> instincts kicked in. After a couple of minutes of playing, I looked at the scoreboard to see that I held a 28 to zero lead. It did not seem like she was having much fun. I can't imagine. She was. Uh, so I asked her if she wanted to do something else. Instead, she said that she had to go home and quickly got up and left. We have not spoken since. I tried to check in on her on Instagram this morning after I saw she was online. She did, will not respond to any of my messages. I told my close friends about the situation and they said that I did nothing wrong. However, my girlfriend still will not talk to me, which is starting to make me think that I did something wrong. <laughs> One time when I was like eight or nine or something like that, there was a, a wrestling game on PS2. And I got so good at that game. And then I was at a sleepover with my friend, my brother, and my brother's friend. And I was just like winning every match. It would be like the four of us. And then I would just, it would be all of us against each other. And then I would just clean up. Then all three of them started ganging up on me. And then I, I had like a gamer hissy fit. I started crying. <laughs> it was like that sad gamer meme where you're like, <laughs> You're playing, trying to hold back tears. It's pathetic. And then they all felt bad and then they stopped ganging up on me and then I kicked their ass again. But that's when I learned my lesson of like, maybe I'm just too good at games. I just can't play with people. I really don't know what you're supposed to do in this situation. I can't tell you how many times I find myself in this situation. Don't challenge me to games. What am I supposed to do? People are like, you wanna play a game? And I'm like, yes. And then I win all the time. What do you, what am I supposed to do? What is she five? She needs to grow up. Oh, thank you. She's immature, <laughs> sore loser. Yay. Yay. Oh wait, what? Don't crush your girl in a game. Come on, that's boyfriend one on one. But then if you lose, then you're just like, you're not good at stuff. Can't even win in a game against an amateur and he's been playing this game for years. Embarrassing. It's a lose-lose situation. You should not run up the 28 to zero score on someone. Am I the asshole for kicking out a girl that's hiding from an ex? So three months ago, my girlfriend's friend left her boyfriend. Girlfriend's friend. Okay, so he, this is a guy, has a girlfriend. His girlfriend has a friend who recently broke up with somebody. And he was not happy about it. So she has been bouncing around places where he wouldn't think to look for her. And one of those is now my apartment. Is he in the mafia? Like what? This is weird. No. She should be able to safely go home. Wait, did you... Not the a-hole. He already got like the mark. It's like a check mark. <laughs> it's like verification that he's not the asshole. My girlfriend wanted to move her into hers, but she felt that was too obvious. So he asked me to let her stay with me. It is weird if you're a guy and your girlfriend asks another girl to move in with you. That's not a good situation. I guess if it's like an emergency, but like, I, how, this isn't sustainable. Like he's gonna find her eventually. You need to do something proactively. I agreed as I thought it was, would only be a short time. Turns out she's staying with me for now two months. <laughs> I would say like three days. You get three days and then you gotta move. Now this is already a long time, but this is compounded by the fact that she's an awful roommate. She is very inconsiderate, blasts loud music at one in the morning, doesn't clean up after herself, walks around in her underwear, and sometimes just a long shirt and says it's weird that I'm uncomfortable by this. She expects me to clean up after her, eats my food, and it is just every part of a bad roommate. I've talked to my girlfriend about this and she says that this is just the way she is and begs me I let her stay there as I can keep her safe. So now you're also putting yourself in danger because this guy is like a lunatic. So now you have to defend this girl that you don't even like. Oh, that, what a nightmare. I told her that I'm willing to let her stay if she either starts paying rent since she's been here so long or at least starts contributing to chores. She hasn't. Yesterday she broke the final straw. So he purchased some expensive steak. He was gonna celebrate with it. And then she cooked it and burnt it. <laughs> he got pissed and he kicked her out, basically. Told her she was a selfish bitch and I told her she needs to be out of my apartment in 30 minutes or I'm calling the police to make her leave. My girlfriend came over, she was pissed. She told me what I've done is unacceptable and that she was trying to avoid her crazy ex. Sounds like she might be a little bit crazy. You're pushing the envelope there. Two months, that's a long time to stay over. Like I, I would feel uncomfortable staying more than like two or three days with somebody else. And I would be doing chores. I'd be making sure I chipped in in some way. If I get to stay at your place for free, am I the asshole? I think your girlfriend is, gosh. Your girlfriend expects you to go above and beyond for one of her friends. And she doesn't listen to you when you say like, hey, you're uncomfortable with certain elements of it. She's not helping out. That's an excessive amount of time for two months. There are better ways to help this girl than trying to hide her. That's such a weird thing to do. We gotta hide her. Does she not have a job? Does she not go to school? Like the guy's gonna find her eventually. Solve the problem ahead of time. I'm just trying to like push it off and be like, hopefully the boyfriend gets less crazy over the next couple months so that he doesn't 
chase her down and look for her. Weird. Weird situation. She's no longer hiding from her crazy act. She's taking advantage of you. Your girlfriend is also, yes, an asshole. Yeah. At this point, I'm starting to doubt her part of the story with the X. Wow. People are agreeing with me. Well, technically, this was posted 15 hours ago, so I'm agreeing with them. I would have, I thought this probably, I would have thought this though before. So you, technically, you're agreeing with thoughts that I didn't think yet. So you're copying me. Am I the asshole for not wanting fiancés, kids in our wedding or at our reception? I am a 24-year-old girl and I'm engaged to my fiancé, 32-year-old man. And we've been together for two years. He has two daughters, one that's nine and one that's seven. Fiancé was treated horribly by his ex-wife and their marriage has always been a source of tension for us. But he's experienced all of the life milestones with his ex-wife first. Now he approaches marriage as something that... He doesn't feel strongly about because he's already done it. The older daughter has an attitude I severely struggle to deal with. She's very selfish and self-centered. <laughs> Most children are, I would imagine. And has to be the center of attention at all times. This is the nine-year-old. She does not listen well to anyone and my fiance does not do the best at discipline. I would rather them not be in the wedding party or at the reception. I understand that they are a part of his life and I fully accept that. Well, maybe not fully. But our wedding is the only and slash last time that we will be able to celebrate something just the two of us. Oh, that's... Uh, I don't know. Something's off here. Something's off here. I can sense it. I'm very happy to take pictures with the girls and all that, but I would rather our ceremony and wedding party be about our union rather than about our new blended family. It feels like there's two separate entities here. It's like you and your husband, or your soon-to-be husband, and then the kids, rather than all you guys together. And then the, the more you push this, like, it's you and me, and then your kids, it just, it sends off a bad vibe. I don't have kids and I will be a stepmom to both girls from the minute I say I do and I just want our moment to be about us. <laughs> That's the thing is like you need to accept the kids as us. When you marry someone with kids, it becomes about all of you, not just you and the person you're with. I fear the nine-year-old will make it about her and will lash out. I also want to be able to have pictures of us in our bridal party without having to be reminded that while this is all a first for me that I am sharing with him, it is not for him. So you don't want the kids to be a reminder that the kids exist. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, you're fucked up here. Yeah, you you uh, you probably shouldn't be getting married because this is not resolved. You're not accepting the kids as part of your family yet. You're just like a separate entity. Yeah, I don't know. This is weird. This is a weird situation. <laughs> oh no, I got deleted. Okay, there's still the comments here though. Uh, don't marry this guy if you don't like his kid. Yeah, facts. Uh, you decided to marry a man with kids. You're the asshole. The way you speak about that poor man child shows you're not ready to be a stepmother. The fact that you don't even want them there because they resemble his ex-wife is crazy. Huge jealousy coming on your behalf. I can understand not wanting to marry someone who's already been married because they've already experienced it. They're not as excited about it. That's, that's fine. Then don't marry someone and don't get with someone who's had those experiences. Because there's plenty of single people who haven't been married already. Just go after one of them. It's weird that you're just like compromising and it feels like you feel like you're compromising. You're like, oh, I, I'm gonna accept these kids so, for another day. Like I'll do that in the future, but today needs to be about me. Oh, I also wanna say that I'm going to be doing a, another submissions video. So I wanna bring those back where you guys are able to submit uh, answers to a prompt. I tried secrets. I had to scrap that video because <laughs> the secrets were just, yeah. We'll do maybe just like advice. Just life advice, relationship advice, any sort of advice that you're seeking, come to me. I am the advice giver. I'll have that in the description box below. So if you need any sort of advice on anything, you can post anonymously. We'll cover that in another video. Am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend that it's weird that she says I love you to her brother? I don't know. What, what state are you in? If you're in like a southern state, like Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, then yeah. It might be a little weird. <laughs> but if you're in almost any other state, then you're fine. So he's a 26-year-old guy. His girlfriend's 24 years old. And he has, she has a brother who goes to college only about an hour away from where they live. He sometimes visits my girlfriend. He sometimes visits my girlfriend. You mean his sister? <laughs> he sometimes visits my girlfriend. I, that's I, I don't know. I'm getting possessive vibes already. And whenever he leaves for the visit, my girlfriend says that she loves him. And he usually returns a thumbs up, which is kind of funny. But I think it shows he's a bit weirded out as well by her saying she loves him. Are you, mm, I don't like you reading into that. I don't mm. like that. I understand saying I love you to your parents or kids, but it feels weird to say it to a sibling. Since while I do love my brother, never in a million years would I say that to him. So because you wouldn't say I love you to your brother, no one else should say it to their siblings? If I don't do it, no one else should do it. This guy's from Boston. That's not a Boston accent. That's not an accent at all. I told my girlfriend this, she seemed kind of weirded out by what I said. Yeah, I would be, I'm weirded out. She said that there was no problem with what she says and that I was the one being weird. Facts. <laughs> Let's see what people are saying. You're the asshole, expressing emotions is good actually. Don't be a guy who on his deathbed wishes he told people 
Ah, that's weird. I don't know. You love your brother? Tell him. You love your... I guess. I guess. Some people aren't really into, like, expressing ver verbally. Verbally? Verbally? Why did my brain just, like, lag? Brain is like, verbally. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you're the asshole who gets jealous over a sibling. Yeah, that's weird, man. Ah, oh, th that's the best, too. Because he posted this being like, guys, look how weird this is. Everyone agree with me, and then everyone just roasts him. Why, why would you tell her that? Why would you tell the internet that? Your assumption that the brother's thumbs up indicates he's weirded out? Uh, is way out of line. Yeah, maybe he's just not good at like verbally replying <laughs> to saying I love you, but he likes hearing it, you know? Like, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, uh, uh. So this one was removed, but I saw it before and I saved it. I'm a 21 year old female and I'm currently going through the process of getting genetic testing done for vascular Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. <laughs> I nailed that. <laughs> because if I have the gene mutation, then I will not be having any biological kids. My cousin has this syn syndrome, and he only made it to his early 20s before he died due to complications it caused within his body. For those that don't know what this is, it's a connective tissue disorder that basically leaves you with not enough glue to hold all your tissues together. I'm talking skin, organ. Oh, that sounds horrible. I think that what happened to my cousin was absolutely devastating. He was in so much pain for so long and there was nothing that really could be done. Him passing at such a young age also really messed up the family. I don't want anyone else going through all of that if it's avoidable. I was telling my friend about it over the phone, how if I had the mutated gene that I definitely don't want to have kids of my own. She got kind of awkward and was being really quiet. So I asked her what was up. She then told me that I'm being ableist by trying to ensure that I don't produce a kid with a disability and how I'm discrediting the lives of people with disabilities. People like that exist in real life and not just online, huh? That's crazy. I see where she's coming from to a point. Yeah, <laughs> I get there's an argument there that you can kind of see, but you really gotta wipe through a bunch of bullshit <laughs> to get to it. And I can sort of see why it would be a touchy subject for her because her close family member is visually impaired. However, I don't think I'm being an a for trying to make sure that I don't want to create a being that will inevitably suffer. Yeah, there's no, there's, <laughs> that's good. That's good on you. I saw that my cousin went through and I think it would be best avoided if possible. That's the same argument as being like, oh, you work out, so you're fat phobic then. Cause you don't want to be fat. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's just a horrible argument. Cause then you could be like, chop off your left leg right now. If you don't chop off your left leg, you're ableist. Because then you're thinking that people who have two legs are better than people with, with one leg. So if you don't do it, then you're ableist. So the goal here is to try to treat everyone well. That's the goal. We can acknowledge that some people's lives are better. Like if you were born with no limbs, it's certainly gonna have a, a slew of difficulties that regular everyday other people who are born with all their limbs are, are gonna have. Did, I, did that sentence make sense? <laughs> we through that sentence, I was like, I forgot how I started the sentence. The word disability in and of itself is like, hey, this is a thing that's not good. Physical or mental condition that limits a person's movements, senses, or activities. That's not like, oh yeah, I want, I want that thing. I don't, oh man, sometimes it's like this internet culture of like, everyone's the same, then that's not true. Like, there's a good course where it's like, we wanna treat people well, but then we also can acknowledge reality. Not the asshole, I think it's selfless of you to try to avoid your future children from suffering. Yeah, you're trying to prevent suffering from a, for a person. Is that inherently wrong? Oh, I'm trying to find someone who's saying you're the asshole. It seems obvious you're not the asshole. Yeah, no, everyone, everyone's on the same page. All right. She sounds like one of those people who tries to be offended by things. That's true, man. There are people like that that just search for things. Maybe just add like spice to their life to be like, this person's so much worse than me. I'm better than them because I wouldn't do that. Am I the asshole for revealing to my dad's wife the real reason why me and him were never close? My dad practically gave me up to his sister from the moment I was born. He's now 27. My mom died when she was giving birth to me and my aunt told me he never recovered from that because he blamed me for her dying. Oh, that's, some, that's Game of Thrones plot. Tyrion, he was born and his birth caused the mother to die, which is why he was shunned by the father. It hurt a lot as a kid that uh, at family events, he would ignore my existence. You're his child and you got ignored? Oh, how do you do that? How do, you, how do you ignore your own child? When I was a little bit older, he got more vocal about me killing her and he can't stand to look at my face. As if you came out on your birth, like, with a knife, pointed up. <laughs> just like, someone died. I shouldn't be making jokes. Someone just got murdered. Well, they didn't murder. Uh, you can imagine the amount of therapy that put me in. I used to go to church crying because I was scared about going to hell for doing that to my mom. That's how much his words messed me up. But the worst part was that I never stopped trying to be accepted by him. After my high school graduation, he told me to never bother him again since he was he legally had no obligation to me anymore. Okay, so basically he finds out now that his, his dad got remarried. The father's new wife wants to meet the, the son, but she doesn't know the reason why he's estranged. So the father goes to the son and he's like, hey, you, let's have dinner, but don't tell my new wife about the fact that I gave you up because I called you a murderer because you were born, you horrible human being. How dare you get born? 
<laughs> piece of shit. Instead, he, he decided to tell her the truth. Everything he said to me, that he was never a parent to me, that it was all my aunts. Aunts or aunts? I don't know. Every time I say it, I hang up on myself. I'm like, ah, I don't know what it is. Aunt. Aunt, aunt. It was definitely a shock for her. The outcome was a disaster. Uh, everyone has heard about this by now. My grandmas in particular told me that she understands my anger, uh, blah, 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 blah. But that is devastated. Do you care about your dad's feelings at this point though? Like your dad did some pretty despicable stuff. Giving up your child's because your wife died during child labor and you remind him of his deceased wife. Like that's not, that's not your, oh, he's got some problems. Your dad sucks, sorry. I hope he never finds anyone ever again. <laughs> Cause he had so, he had so much time to like come to terms with it. He had 18 years and even after 18 years, he was like, okay, don't contact me anymore. He double, that's more than doubling down. And then up until the point where he's 20, he's 27 now. So even beyond 18, from 18 to 27, he still didn't make any effort. Horrible. And then ironically, he asks you to do him a favor by not revealing certain things. Your dad might get along with that pastor dude from the from the first post. Am I the asshole for letting my family and friends disrespect my boyfriend by calling him by his first name? How dare you refer to me by the way people would refer to me. <laughs> my boyfriend, 32 year old male, is a doctor. Met him through my dad back when we were traveling and after we started dating, he started coming over to my hometown to visit. When I introduced him to my family and friends, I told them his full name, then occupation, then mentioned the other stuff like age and hometown, etc. All good until months later when he started complaining about my family and friends referring to him by his first name and not putting doctor before. I found this strange. I told him that's his professional title, but as a society, we use first names slash nicknames. He said he can't help but feel annoyed, especially considering that these people don't know him well. Posts are biased, right? They want people to agree with him. So by putting quotes around this, these people, he's calling my family these people. Oh, what a jerk. So anytime someone like goes out of their way to like, even in the details to try to paint the other person in a bad light, it <laughs> makes me suspicious. But it's been eight months. Uh, he said once we're married or engaged, they can start referring to him using his first name. Recently, he started correcting whenever my friends or family called him by his name. His tone becomes aggressive, and then he goes on a long lecture about how they should put doctor before mentioning his name. It became exhausting because my family and friends can't understand his strange hang up, and he keeps picking fights with them about it. Last night, we were visiting my parents, and my dad called him his name instead of doctor. My boyfriend started arguing with him, which caused a huge fight. In the car, he went off on me saying, I'm letting family and friends disrespect him continually. <laughs> He said he takes pride in his profession and that he sacrificed so much to get where he is today. And my family and friends literally lose nothing if they respect his wishes. Yeah, but it's just annoying. I need you to respect me every single time you refer to me. What? You're not the only person who like sacrificed in their professional life to get where they are. Should everyone who has some success, should they have to be referred to by like special names or? I smell a narcissist. <laughs> oh, you mean my boyfriend? Honestly? What do you mean? I guess you're on the inside. So like you're seeing the fuller picture here, but this is some weird behavior. And obviously you find it weird because you post about it on Reddit. I've been the daughter, niece, granddaughter, girlfriend, and fiance of doctors. Not once have they ever wanted to be called doctor name. In fact, if not working, they'd all prefer to have as little attention on their career as possible. So basically it looks like from the comments on the post that doctors typically, this isn't like a, a thing where all doctors like this. Most doctors outside of like their doctor work, they don't like to be called doctor. However, he stated that it, he likes it. So, you know what? This is perfect. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section. Let me know how you guys feel about this specifically. Do we respect anyone's wishes if they say like, I want to be called this thing specifically? Should we just respect it across all bounds, borders? So, we're gonna end this video in the comment section. Let me know your opinions on this. Also, I'm gonna have that, that form again in the comment section. If you want advice on anything, let me know. And then we'll do like an advice video in the next couple weeks. Thanks for watching. Maybe next time I'll have brand new clothes. Maybe not. Maybe I will though, but maybe I won't. Maybe I will though. I might not, but there's a chance I will, but I might not. <laughs> okay. Boo, 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 boo.